What's going on, my crew? This is Jay. Welcome to another episode of Jay's Adventures. Today, we are going to finish off a few things. Uh, right off the bat, I want to show you guys what we've done and what it looks like because I think... Oops. I think that's important. Um, I can also add to the treasury another 15 diamonds. Ooh. Very exciting. Uh, but yeah, I am going to finish this off. I worked on it pretty much a little bit today. Um, pop up these stairs. The only thing I don't like so far about it is the camouflageness. But uh, I like that there's a little bit of green here. Um, it definitely looks like a courtyard. I'm not sure how I feel about it just yet. There's a lot of grays into it, and obviously it's going to look a lot better when we add... Um, uh, oops. When we add the uh, grass or mossy cobblestone to it. Um, just a few other things. I want to try and get rid of... Let's see what it looks like when I sort of change the texture of a few of these. Make it a little more straight. But even still, it's it's not as uh, as diverse as I thought it might be, which worries me a bit. Uh, there's a few things we can do to solve that, of course. Um, but right now, I'm more focused on uh, putting these in here. So let's let's do some some work today on on figuring out what we can do for a little different uh, things because. We have these new blocks, and one of the things I want to do is use them to sort of design a few things. So maybe something uh, simple could be to add little bits of, I guess, uh, I don't even know what you'd call it, just little bits of decoration to the area. And that'd be two from the stairs, so let's go another two from the stairs and add another one. Just these little crosses make for a nice um, arrangement. Not bad, definitely adds something to it. And then in this middle portion here, we'll just do a little bit of a circle. One, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, oops, three, one, and then we'll throw in this. A lot of building techniques, um, in my opinion, are just basically doing what you can with the space and adding some layering on top of it. So I want to go with... Uh, this uh, pink brownish stone for this one and uh, then down here on this bottom portion uh, add another layer to it which will be the uh, polished okay and then sort of another layer but not really will be the right here and then we'll go ahead and hmm I have an idea do I have any nether rack with me uh huh I was gonna say I'd be shocked if I didn't uh I thought I had Maybe I left it back at home. Let's uh, flint and steal this up. Some of you guys may know what my idea is. But uh, I've been wanting to figure out where I'm going to put the uh, forge. And I was just thinking. Might not be a bad idea to put it right here. And then what we can do. Which I know I don't have this, but... I can do a little bit of a makeshift thing by doing this. And then we just need to go into the nether really quick. 
My inventory is way too full. This is crazy. I had to go get cobblestone for the first time today, which I love having to do that. Um, you guys think I'm joking. I'm completely serious. Um, <laughs> I love having to go in and uh, get cobble because most of the time it's always, all right, well, i got to get this uh, smooth stone and all that stuff. So um, it's nice to actually uh, just have to worry about getting cobblestone for once. in here nope. I might have to BRB because I was told to preheat this uh, piece of equipment there actually I'll just close the door that way I can ignore it uh, George Foreman grill is what oh whoa 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 what it's called and uh, I was told to preheat it and it after five minutes beeps so oh yeah we got uh, a new system here as you guys can see interesting right alright <clears throat> just do this do to do to do, do I know some of you guys probably are thinking well Jay why don't you just line some of the stuff with with nether quartz well I want this keep not to be a castle if it was a castle we'd do that but since it's just a defensive position we really don't need to worry too much about um, the style of it and all that stuff just Right now, we're going to worry about uh, getting um, getting things all prettied up. Um, in the next little bit here, I want to start doing a little bit of game mechanics things and getting off of the building. Um, one of my new another building projects that I want to do, which I guess it is building, but in a way, not really, uh, is I want to get um, a bunch of the things that um, I had wanted to build in the first place. Obviously, we need to finish the game, which we're a lot closer than we were before. Um, and every time I see an Enderman, I'm killing it, but obviously not there yet. Um, but some of the things I want to do is I want to build the Blaze Farm and the Ender Farm. Um, now, the Blaze Farm is really great for experience, but more than anything else is um, that you can get Blaze Rods for your furnaces. And those things are awesome for the furnace and I think I forget how you make a nether fence but uh, I want to make a nether fence for right over there to kind of surround that area and uh, then I think that'll be a good forge and I'm just gonna put a couple um, anvils near it and um, sort of make it look in, in a couple cauldrons and sort of actually make it look like a furnace I wanted to set up a tent but I can't set up a tent because obviously if it's a forge it's gonna burn the, the wool on top of it and although we have copious amounts of wool ready for us um, it's not exactly up to par where is my anvil by the way did I put it away hmm interesting Well, nevertheless, we can work on a workbench, which I don't know how I feel about having a workbench that's, hmm, this is what I wanted to do. All of that crap, just to do that. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Ah. One of the chapsticks I use that it makes like this bitter taste in my mouth. It's so gross. Oh, okay. There's a couple more of those. Uh, I suppose we could use some nether brick into this, but mm, not really feeling it. Um. Yes, I wanted to make half slab. Okay. So that half slab on now can we see yes we can okay that's good glad that works out in the end because I just I want this sort of be a work table and then you pop down here do your thing and then come back up here I don't want it to be necessarily a furnace that you stick something into um, I just want it to be more for making repairs uh, rather than 
which I have no idea what I'm doing. So some of you guys may be like, oh my god, Jay, you are an idiot. Why would they do that? Um, but basically, that forge right there just needs to be for someone to say, okay, well, I need to stick the sword in here, pop it out, bang, 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 throw it on the table for people to pick up. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. Fancy smanchy. Alright. I hate having to come back here all the time, but I think I only need one more, or two more, I mean. And then we're good to go. So I'll do a few cauldrons, which we can do right now, actually, because we've got the iron to do it. Two cauldrons. And then I'll do the anvils later on. Alright. Now, how many nether fences does this give us? Okay, good, six. And we need a bucket. There we go, one full of water. And things are shaping up. I have to say, things are really shaping up. Um, this whole thing, once I... Uh, um, fill it with cobblestone. I think it's going to look really nice. Already, just what we've done today, and we haven't even added the mossy cobblestone, this looks a lot more like like lively. Um, which is what I wanted to accomplish, at the very least in this episode, is, is just adding a little more detail to it and making it pop out a little more. But I think this right here is going to look nice. And let's, I just want to do one more screenshot here. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to do something more with these if I can. Just, But even still, I'm going to show you guys a little tip. Even though this is the same texture, you guys notice from afar, it looks like it's different. Like there's a little bit of a line right here that y you can't see, but you think in your mind that there is more depth to it. So that's really good. Um, this build in and of itself, because we've not flattened it out, has depth. It doesn't necessarily need more depth. What it needs is color contrast. And that's difficult to get because we've got so much stone and not enough you know, flowery type things. But I think once we convert this over a little bit, things are going to look a little bit different and uh, be a little bit better. One thing that I have thought of is just adding a dirt path through this and sort of having it be like there's stone on either side. But that's not very logical. You'd either make it all stone or not stone at all. So, all right. Uh, was there anything else I really, really wanted to do? I can't remember. Either way, I'm liking how this is turning out a lot. Oh, yes, that's it. I was going to say, so the uh, illusion that I was talking to you guys about is you want to, and I actually didn't do it that well here, but um, you see there's a chicken back there. Um, for the sewers, it can be difficult to really have um, a sewer going on. Uh, come on, this is not going to, okay, maybe it will work better than I anticipated. Um, when you're dealing with a sewer, it's it's not as easy as you might think to try and uh, build one of these things. Not to mention, as I said before uh, yesterday, um, I think this is what I said. If you could just make an optical illusion, you can save yourself a lot of time by not doing it. And uh, I feel like I have a light down here. Do I have a light? No. Hmm. Strange. We're going to come over here, and you guys will see, just looking down there, you save yourself time trying to build something, and it looks like there's a sewer down there, that it goes down and drops, which is great. I love it. Uh, the other thing I did that really made this, I guess if you want to call it this, um, sells this um, piece right here, is that... We have um, that bridge right here that is kind of out of place normally. Uh, and I could break it down, 
but I like the fact that it it really gives you the feel that there is something under there and uh, I actually want to attempt to to make things a little bit ah crap I want to attempt to make things a little bit better uh, in terms of trying to get it and hmm what's under here you know what you know what I might just do I might just have this be like a porch let's go get some uh, wooden stairs really quick and then I think I'm gonna end up okay here we go Okie dokie. Pop this over here. One, two, three. Okay. And uh, that way it actually gives it... And I will probably decorate it a little bit more now that I'm thinking about it. Let's add stone to it. Instead of what we've got here, which is the... I don't want to call it traditional because it's not traditional. Um, but sort of like uh, little pieces, and then what we'll do here is a stone brick, and then on this side we'll put another stone brick once I grab it from that eh, crap. I just want to take a look at it really quick, so I'll just replace it there afterwards. And now let's pop over here. And I'll take a look at it from afar. I like that a little bit better. It still needs a little bit of work, but at least it's not uh, as bad as it was before. And it makes you think that it's a porch rather than a bridge, which is nice. And that way I won't fall in here and I can do a little bit of a grate around there to make it even better. Anyways, that's going to do it for today's episode, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And until next time, happy mining and crafting.